The overall goal of this procedure is to fill the coronary vasculature with a radiopaque dye in preparation for microcomputed tomography or micro-CT imaging. First, the mouse's abdominal cavity is opened and the abdominal aorta is cannulated. Then, the vasculature is perfused with a vasodilating buffer, followed by perfusion with a fixative. The vessels are then ligated, both to direct the perfusate as well as to block potential leakage points. Finally, the coronaries are filled with radiopaque dye. The complete filling of the coronary vasculature can be evaluated by visual analysis of the heart or via micro-CT imaging and analysis. Though this method can provide insight into coronary vasculature branching patterns as well as vessel blockages and other coronary vessel diseases, it can also be applied to other vascular networks in other organ systems such as the brain, kidney, or hind limb. Visual demonstration of this method is critical as the vessel ligation steps are difficult to learn if you are unfamiliar with the vessel anatomy. Finding and tying off the correct vessels in the surrounding tissue can also be challenging. Before starting the procedure, fill one side of a pressure perfusion apparatus with vasodilator buffer and the other with 4% paraformaldehyde in PBS. Next, fill a half cc insulin syringe with a 29 gauge half inch needle with 0.1 milliliters of 1 to 100 heparin. Then, bend the needle to approximately a 120 degree angle with the bevel up. 